Republican Senators Lindsey Graham, John McCain, and Kelly Ayotte demanding to know why the murderers who killed four Americans in Benghazi are still walking around. Senator Graham also accusing former acting CIA Director Mike Morrell of lying. Mike Morrell's testimony last week to me was not remotely credible. In every sense of the word, Mike Morrell lied to me. He lied to me by not being honest about the role he played when I asked, do you have knowledge if you change the talking points? And Senator Lindsey Graham joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Hey, thanks. Okay, you say that Mike Morrell lied to you. DNI, Clapper, um, a lot of people say he lied when he testified. You've got the House who can't seem to get emails and documents out of the IRS taking forever. Lois Lerner took the fifth last May, and she, they still haven't resolved it even as of today. So what in the world, how are you going to get answers to any of this? Well, we need a select committee in the House to look at the CIA, the State Department, and the Department of Defense as one unit. Mike Morrell testified last week. He misled the committee. Misled or uh, lied? What's, I mean, you know, like misled oh, I, seems no, I, like a, what, oh, you said lied think, at one point. Yeah, well, he lied to me. He said he corrected the record regarding the meeting he had with me, McCain, and Ayotte. You know, Susan Rice wanted to talk to the three of us to convince us that she gave the best evidence as to what happened in Benghazi on 16 September when she said it was a protest, no al-Qaeda attack caused by a hateful video. She brought Mike Morrell, the number two at the time, uh, acting director of the CIA eventually, to explain to us why the intelligence justified what she said. Sometime in the meeting, I asked him, do you, did you know who changed the talking points? Then he started talking about the FBI taking al-Qaeda out of the talking points because they didn't want to compromise ongoing criminal investigation. Later, they called back my office and said, no, that wasn't right. The FBI didn't take the talking al-Qaeda out of the talking points. Somebody at the CIA did. What he should have said... Not naming morale. Not naming morale. Yeah, right. Exactly what he should have said. Senator, I changed over 50 percent of the talking points. I coordinated my response with the White House. I'm the one who changed the talking points. I'm the one who took references to al-Qaeda out and put extremists in. I'm the one that put demonstrations uh, so in that never occurred. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, is there... Well, I tell I mean, you what. Let, let me just say this. John Boehner is a good friend. He says he wants to get to the bottom of Benghazi, and I believe every word of it. This I can late? tell you right. Well, I, mean, I can tell you, oh, yes, uh, Susan Rice must be called as a witness now. Let me tell you why. Uh, Mr. Morrell said that when Susan Rice on 16 September said that the protest was caused by video, Mr. Morrell said the CIA never told her that a video caused a protest. Where did she get the information about a video? She also said that the the, uh, the uh, consulate was strongly, substantially, and significantly secured. Who told her that? That's not in the talking points. So here's what I would say to Speaker Boehner. There's a conflict of interest that's staring us all in the face. The lead investigator for the Republican House Intel Committee is now in business with Mike Morrell. The lead investigator of the House Republican Intelligence Committee is also in business with Hillary Clinton's gatekeeper. I think this justifies a new process and a new look. You're, you're losing a lot of information by doing this in a segmented fashion. If you had had the station chief at this hearing, when the station chief could have told us very clearly there was never a protest, it would have made Mike Morrell's testimony look differently. If you'd had Greg Senator, Hicks at... Go and, I, and I got to go or we're going to get cut off. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Nice to see you, sir. We need a select committee.